Last episode, Inez traveled to Rome to view Villa Aurora. It contains incredible art treasures that can't be found anywhere else in the world. He spoke with Princess Rita about the villa. You can buy it, huh? No, it's not this possible. is unique. This is a natural historic monument. Elizabeth Lev told Ignis about the rich history of the property. It's a little fraction of what was once an enormous property. Julius Caesar owned this. She also spoke in depth about the painters that worked in the villa. And then you step into this room where we have light, and we look up and we see the picture of the dawn. This painting was by an artist named Guercino. Today, Ignis meets Rita again. He's curious what the history between the Vatican and the Boncompagni family is, and he wants to learn more about the Caravaggio upstairs. You are actually connected to the Vatican. Is it then? Are you still in contact with the Vatican? Or not? Is it not really? Is that? Oh, sure. Oh, how was this? Uh, it's fine. My husband's great uncle, who fought alongside Garibaldi against the Pope, and then his brother, um, Rodolfo, was a, a big uh, papal supporter and uh, a, a supporter of the king. So you had uh, these conflicts within the family. For me, I would love to have it restored. We were going to spend about five million. We'd already spent a million something on the exterior and uh, before my husband died. But it does need a lot of uh, restoration. Although the bones are very good, we've kept, uh, we've kept it up as much as we could. So Elizabeth, you talk about Del Monte. Can you give me a little explanation of Del Monte, who he built this villa, correct? Yes, Cardinal Francesco Maria Del Monte was a cardinal of the Roman Catholic Church. He bought a bit of this property and built himself a little house, and it's not even a house, a little, a little retreat in this area where he would be able to do these experiments and discover more about the natural world. The Medicis were very interested from the Duke Cardinal, friends, they were very interested in alchemy. They were interested in, in, in experimenting with different materials, different uh, minerals. Uh, people, they always say people were trying to make gold. And Cardinal Francesco Maria de Monte was one of these people. For us today, I think most importantly, he brought together, he brought here his love of art, particularly in the artist that he discovered and put on the map. Caravaggio. How many Caravaggio there are, Elizabeth? Do you know something? There are mm, about 80, 80 odd Caravaggios. There are Caravaggios in many different places, but there's only one Caravaggio painted on a wall. This is okay. absolutely so again, that's unique. unique. There is no other Caravaggio that has ever been discovered where Caravaggio painted directly on the wall. This work, this, this, Im this image of Neptune, Pluto, and Jupiter, it is protected because it's kept inside this, this space that doesn't allow the light to hit it. The really interesting things about this work, if you like the work of Caravaggio, Caravaggio almost always uses these inky, dark backgrounds. It always also looked black in his background. But for this one, he gave us this beautiful lapis blue sky. And you see it through the clouds. Now, when Cardinal Del Monte was doing his experiments in here, <laughs> it was probably occasionally in a little danger. Who knows what he was mixing yes, in his little too. beakers. But fortunately, the painting has survived and it's still here. Can I do what I want with this one? Not in Italy, you cannot. Not in Italy. No, Italy, despite the fact that Italy may not own this property, Italy does take very care, very good care of its art. And if you want to make renovations or changes to a house that is over a certain age, you have to apply for permits, you have to have people come in and make sure that it won't destroy the integrity of the building. Those little steps that are common to anybody who owns a house that's historic, 
then becomes much more complicated when you have a house that contains the one and only Caravaggio mur mural painting. Doesn't it need to be a, 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 a maintenance, a renovation a little? Or how do you see that? It's not dangerous? Thing? So it's these, it, it, is, it is a problem that has already happened. One of the things about Caravaggio that was a disadvantage for him is that he did not use the technique that Guercino mm -hmm. uses. Yeah. He painted dry on the wall. So he just puts the paint on the wall. And as we can see, paint flakes. And so some of that paint has flaked away during the years. There's really there's nothing to be done um, except to make sure that more paint doesn't flake away. It's so problem. strange that this is actually in the smallest room mm -hmm. and this has the biggest value. Yes, it's very funny, isn't it? So Ben, we have the, we have the value of 471 million. Yeah. Art in property and sale. Yeah. So I'm a real estate guy, and you are a little, I think, passion guy about art, but what is actually the value without art? As you can see, we are in the heart of Rome. This place is surrounded by the major hotels and embassy and the major offices. Without the fresco, without her masterpieces, definitely still has a big value. So actually, it's, it's it's pretty correct the price, eh? Absolutely, if you see it, eh? absolutely. It was uh, definitely stated by uh, you know the different uh, components and the different elements. But we have three hundred million for the painting, only three hundred, correct? Uh, yeah. Then you have only small one hundred fifty to one seventy five. What is correct, eh? This will be uh, the normal price of a villa of this dimension yes. in this area of Rome uh, today. So actually, the price is the correct price without the Absolute, other absolutely, art pieces. Absolutely, without absolutely, other? without the art pieces. Ik ben zelf geen kunstkenner, maar de, de bedragen die, die doen mij duizelen daarom. En daarom is het belangrijk om meer te communiceren. So Ben, we have an amount van 470 million. Yes. Let me say if they can close the deal on 400 million or 350. Um, but there are so many restrictions, correct? Definitely, I will uh, person a buyer who will uh, be interested to carry on uh, the legacy of this venue needs to be aware that here are preserved uh, one of the most uh, wonderful masterpieces of arts okay. that around the globe. So, of course, uh, there are little uh, uh, regulation uh, that they go with the protocol of the Italian Minister of Culture and the Superintendenza. Of course, uh, the person who will buy needs to make his own improvements in the way he wants. So, uh, of, it's, it's just uh, like, you know, a, a scenario that needs to be very well uh, uh, clear and has to be crystal that the person exactly. who's gonna move on uh, with this property uh, needs to do uh, some restoration, of course. A pantje like that, that men schat het nu op op 10, 11 million in, in renovatie, maar men weet nooit waaruit men komt. Dus ik denk, volgens mij kan het even goed 20 of 30 million zijn. Men begint hier aan, men ziet het kopen. Men koopt dat zonder een idee te hebben wat het ooit zal, zal gaan kosten. En ook zonder een idee te hebben wat het ooit zal gaan opbrengen, want dat, dat weet men gewoon niet. This is from the, from the family, or what is it? Yeah, yeah this is 150,000 50, documents here. And is They've that the, from the family or from, 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 from the property? This? Oh, no, this is uh, from the family. They're all in French, the letters, but they say, mon cousin, my cousin. And they talk about, uh, Marie Antoinette talks about various things, uh, children that are being born, et cetera, et cetera, in the various families. So it's kind of fascinating to see letters from Marie Antoinette and Louis XVI and uh, the Sun King and um, Le Nôtre, who did the Gardens of Versailles. At the time with your husband, you were living here or at also a house outside? Or? He was living outside in the country and he said no one ever wanted to help him uh, with this and so he said I want to show you this home that I own in okay. the middle of Rome so we went to see it and he said are you up for working uh, with me on this like 20 years ago and I said yeah yes absolutely and that's when I discovered all the the archival information okay, okay. Yeah. so also and let me say in that time just together you owned only this and also other properties you say New York, London, or you want only no, focus just on this? All in, uh, all in Italy. Why? Is there a reason I that, that he loved really Italy only? At, no, know? it's just that he inherited them. I think being a prince was a, a 
prison for him. He was so much smart. He was brilliant. But you changed him, eh? He was on hunting birth. You changed him totally. Well, right? he said he said that I, I gave him the happiest years of his life. You know, yeah. he tells everyone that. So, uh, yeah, I think I made him very happy. And you are a person, you are, uh, you like animals. Yes. Correct. Yes, he said I changed him completely, and that I brought people into his life that he would never have met. I think what Niccolo and I achieved here um, at Villa Aurora was wonderful. For 20 years, I lived a dream with someone who loved me and whom I really loved. And we, we had a labor of love restoring the villa. We sacrificed a lot, and that's about all I can do. So, Rita, uh, thank you for having me, but uh, oh, it's, it's... Thank you. It's, you know what, for me, is, I, I saw so many beautiful properties, but this is not a property. The value from the art is so much higher than the property. Yeah. So, my dear, let me stay in touch. Yes, and absolutely. then we can, we're going to move Thank on. Thank you, old friend. But, and we don't going to wait 30 years now, huh? No, Finish, no, 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 no. No, huh? that's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great.